Hello nerds, today is Saturday, April the 27th, 2019, and that means it's time for the 117th game of Meditation Games. Today's game was made by Ryan Roth and Farbs. That's what he's put down, Farbs. I, I don't know. They left a really, really short blurb for us, which I'll read out for you now. Touch, bounce, listen. Headphones recommended. Uh, Alright, fine. Uh, okay, let's see if it's working. Okay. So, what was it? Touch, bounce, and something. This is quite loud. Hang on. There we go. Touch, bounce, and listen. That was it. <laughs> okay, clicking doesn't do anything. So, yeah, I'm literally just walking this into it. <laughs> Why that's making me laugh so much. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> okay, right. Go! Oh, when you, when you don't act like an idiot, it's, it sounds a lot nicer. That's really cool. Go! <laughs> Too gentle. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I ain't touching that now. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Cool. Okay. What next? I like this. Oh, oh, thank God, I thought I lost it then. Ah! There you go. <laughs> oh, I just realised it, it, it actually works like stereo, like... Sounds are over there, over here. Yeah. My God, I've lost, I've lost it. I've, that's it. It's gone now. <laughs> Come here! I want it! There we go! That's nice. Let's do that again. So, my first few uh, recordings recorded no sound because I had the headphones on. So I'm a bit pissed. <laughs> I'm not that pissed. So I was gonna do it again. So yeah, here's me being chaotic. <laughs> uh, you can bounce the ball off things, and it makes a nice little plinky plonky sound, which is lovely. That's lovely. Um, I thought maybe it made a different sound depending on what surface it hits, but that doesn't seem to work. Actually, it doesn't seem to pan out. As you can hear, it's sort of, it's a bit different, it's a little weird. But, um, I found I could, I would be like gentle and like, oh, isn't that nice? Or, or fail to get the ball and razz it around. But this one's my favourite one. So you can do quite a lot with it, so. Isn't that nice, yeah? Yeah. Very nice. Also very nice. Uh, there we go. <laughs> My favourite one is... Oh no, that wasn't it. 
Uh, I'm actually at pentagram once. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> but that's very nice as well. <laughs> and I was obsessed with trying to make it bounce off the star onto the next star. And then onto the moon. I, I can't get it to do it. So. <laughs> oh! Oh, God! There we go. God damn it! Probably a bit harder than that. Come here. It's going because my first reaction... I, I really enjoyed it. But th there was no fucking sound. <laughs> I'm so gutted. Oh, come here. Boop. That was a bit too hard. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. So the creators of today's game, Ryan Roth and Farbs, are working on a game that I was lucky enough to actually see and play at EGX Res 2019. They're working on a game called Void Bastards, which is amazing. Ah, uh, ah, oh, uh, right, okay, okay, right. Let's try and keep this cohesive this time. Okay, so Void Bastards is a game that Farb, uh, Farb's created it, and he said that it is FTL, or Faster Than Light, which is an awesome game on Steam, mixed with System Shock 2, which I've not played, actually, so I don't know what bits of System Shock 2 it's like, but uh, I'm going to take his word for it. There's a lot to really like about this game, but there's a couple of things that really stood out for me. The main thing was the graphics and animation. Now, the graphics are an incredibly strong and robust-looking cel-shaded aesthetic. It looks brilliant and the animation plays into this idea that the game puts across that it's a comic that you're playing in i don't know what the comic has to do with the game nothing in the demo that i saw really explained that it may just be an aesthetic choice maybe the plot of the story has something that ties it in with a comic maybe the game is about a comic i don't know but they have gone for this comic aesthetic and they have gone whole hog on it and done a really good job with it one of the things that i really really like is all of the sound effects in the game like in a comic, have um, like onomatopoeic subtitles that come out. So if you're hearing the squelchy monster, you see the word squelch, 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 squelch. If a body falls over, you see a thud. Uh, <laughs> but one of the main things that I liked about it, and quite a few people who were at the event commented on this as well, it was really nice how you didn't need, because uh, all, all these uh, demo games have headphones that you put on, you didn't need to wear the headphones to know what was going on. Which also means, if you're hard of hearing, you don't need the audio to tell what's going on. Uh, you can tell if there's an enemy around the corner that you'd normally be able to hear because you see the little noises come up on the screen. And not only is it a really cool stylistic choice, it's actually a really good accessibility uh, feature. So well done on that. That's really awesome. One of the main things that I absolutely adore is the animation. Like I said, it's going for this uh, comic book aesthetic and one thing it did really really well that i really liked is how the animation doesn't seem to have any in-betweens so for example when you're firing a gun normally what happens is the uh slide comes all the way back and then rolls back forward and that's your gun animation the slide comes back but it snaps to the back and then it snaps back forward and it sort of holds just long enough on those frames so it sort of feels that same time period and it, but it hasn't got that fluidity to it that you would expect from a normal game it looks choppy, but it works with this. Uh, it's just done incredibly well. It looks like what you'd see in a comic. And the enemies move in similar ways. They don't have these gradual turning arcs. They kind of, like, almost retro-style snap on an axis. And their animation doesn't have much in the way of in-betweens either. Basically, the animation focuses on the keyframes. I think that's what the uh, technical term is anyway. But yeah, all the action is focused on the keyframes, which you would get in a comic as well. You wouldn't have, like, page by page of the gun rolling back and forwards and the people slowly turning around. It's all about the action shots, what looks good in that moment. And... 
I kind of like that they've done that with this. I think it looks really cool. It's very distinctive. And it really sells this idea that you're playing in a comic book. I really dig it. I think it's awesome. So as for the actual gameplay, the map mode, I think, is where they draw the comparison to FTL. Uh, you have this map on FTL it's procedure generated, I assume it also is on Void Bastards, I'm not certain. But you have waypoints you have to navigate across the galaxy with. And each of those waypoints is a scenario, something happens. It could be something like, uh, absolutely nothing happens and you can proceed to the next thing, which is nice. Or you come across a ruin, but there's bits flying around and you can just salvage that and be on your merry way. Or you navigate a dangerous asteroid, lose to whatever, I don't know, to fuel. But also in FTL, you can come across other ships that you can be friendly with or you engage in combat with. In this, you come across ships that you can board. When you board the ships, you enter this first person game where you're creeping around. Uh, from what I've seen so far, they're all derelict. Uh, spaceships or space stations. That may not always be the case in the full game, uh, but they're derelicts barring effectively space zombies. So you hop onto the ships, you work through them, you've got to shoot the things, well you don't have to shoot the things, you have to evade danger either by shooting the gribblies that come at you or avoiding them in other ways because ammo is a limited thing, you do only have so many bullets. And if I remember correctly, your ammo persists. So if you're using a bunch of bullets just to wipe out all of the zombies that you probably didn't really need to shoot, you haven't got that ammo for later on in the missions unless you find more ammo. Basically, you hop around all of these derelict spaceships looking for supplies, looking for ammo, fuel, food, oxygen, etc. With the goal of stockpiling as much as you can to navigate your way across the galaxy. Which is cool, it's a fun time and uh, I was really enjoying it. And it's something that I really liked from FTL as well. The gameplay and the gunplay in the first person sections is incredibly satisfying actually. I play, I think I played with this charge rifle thing, I can't quite remember what it was called. But basically when I pulled the trigger there was this delay and then boom! And whatever I hit just fucking evaporated, which was great fun! <laughs> uh, I also ran around with a pistol and a few of the other weapons just shot things in the head, things died. It, it felt really good. It was a great time, I really enjoyed it. I know it's coming out on Steam and Xbox. I can't remember if it's coming out on PS4, though I assume it is. No idea if it's coming to Switch. Uh, it'd be pretty cool on the Switch, to be fair, but like I said, no idea. And I know it's meant to be available in 2019, but there's no more specific date than that. Hopefully we will see it this year, but there's uh, always a fair chance that it could get delayed, but hey, totally worth it. The game looks absolutely fantastic, so I'm really looking forward to it. This is definitely a game I'm going to be picking up on day of release. I don't doubt that. I had a really good time playing it in EGX. I can't wait to play it some more. As soon as I discovered that the guys who made today's game were responsible for this one, I got really bloody excited. <laughs> it is only single player so far, which is a bit of a shame. I am hoping some multiplayer does come out, although I'm not entirely sure how they would do it, but that would be awesome. But hey, it was still a fun time on my own anyway. So. so yes, I will leave links below to their Twitters, to their portfolio page, and to the Steam page of Void Bastards. So a huge thank you to Ryan Roth and to Farbs for making today's meditation, and thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.